All right, hey, it's Jill Blanchett. I'm here with my Time for Cake August 24 Paper Pumpkin Alternates. And today, or this card, we're going to make this. My friend Patty was giving me a um, tip on making this piece, thought I'd give it a try, and then I decided to turn it into a paper pumpkin card. So. Let's get going with this. You need um, one of these cards, and then I cut a circle out of the middle. You need one of these little balloons. We need a smallish, label for the inside this is one in like five or seven eighths ish size rectangular rounded edge but any one that you have will work move this out of the way our card okay is four and a quarter by eleven you want to fold it in half and burnish it and then we're gonna fold it back again and burnish it like that. All right, that makes our card. I'm gonna go ahead and glue on. I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of petal pink that I'm gonna put on the inside over here that then I have two pieces of petal pink that are these are each two and three quarters so this is two and a half by four I'm gonna glue those down just like to get stuff off my desktop when I can so that I don't randomly pick it up and use it for something else I'm definitely uh, quite capable of doing that and then when I need the piece I find I've already used it for stamping on or scrap or who knows what but not what I needed it for so let's put these on those go on right the front and the inside then I took the pink card this card here so I um, screwed my first sample up and I cut the card I was cutting so it goes like this right here's your card I was cutting this way and totally didn't dawn in my brain that I needed to cut down the center of the card and trim this to three and three quarters by five to go on the back so I wasted a card because I cut it wrong so you can do this with just one pink card so I'm gonna glue that one down and again this one is three and three quarters by five and then the other side of the card when you cut it off then you'll turn it sideways and cut two pieces at two and a quarter by three and three quarters so I'm gonna go ahead and glue those on here so we're just building up the card first. Then we'll get to all the other parts here in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna glue these on. I'm just trying to eyeball across to make sure I got them kind of in line at least. All right, so now we've got that part done. Now we can assemble some of our, um, oh, let's go to this part. This part will take a while, but um, I will obviously pause and um, stamp on the side. So we got three pieces. I've got wild wheat, and this is one inch wide by 11 inches long. I've got moody mauve, 
and I did these on the eighth. So this is seven eighths inches by 11 inches long. And then my white is three quarters of an inch by 11 inches long, okay? So what I'm gonna do, set all this aside, is I have a variety of colors that go with this kit. So I've got Night of Navy, Wild Wheat, Moody Mauve, Petal Pink, Pecan Pie, they're going to go off the screen over here, and Pretty in Pink. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this candle from the kit, the one with the little flowers on it, and I'm going to just go upside down. So I'm going to stamp in the navy, and I'm going to go across the top of my paper. I can't write. And I'm going to stamp it. So we've got a navy. And this is, you know, a little bit time consuming, but you get in a groove. I'm going to wipe it off on my cleaner, and I'm going to come over to the wild wheat. I'm going to look through my block. I can see the navy blue, so I know I'm close. And then I'm going to stamp that one down. Wipe it off, and I'm going to come over to the moody mauve. Same thing. Stamp it down and I'm wipe it off and I'm going to come to the petal pink. And I'm also trying to um, kind of guide myself with my mat to make sure that I'm straight because, you know, once you start going crooked, everything's going to go crooked. So if you need to glue that down, go ahead and give it a little tape down this way, wipe it off, and now I'm coming to the pretty in pink. As you can see, I'm not paying attention. I'm getting them a little further apart than what I want. And I'm just gonna go down the row like that. I'm gonna come back to my Knight of Navy. Go on to my Wild Wheat. Go on to my Moody Mauve. And I'm just going to keep going right on down the row until I get this whole piece filled up. So I'll be back in a second. And I'm still going down the row. Same thing. Each color separately. Wipe it off between them. It does take a couple minutes to do this. Not long, because like I said, you get in a groove. You get going on. You get messing up like that. And then you just keep right on going down the row so I'll be back okay so I'm gonna just I finish that off put the ink away we're gonna need the blue I'll leave that over there and I did make a mess on my desktop All right, so I clean that off now we have our piece that is going to go with these pieces so a little tip Mine was a little bit thick and it kind of broke at my folds. So we're gonna try something different on this one. So what I learned from Patty is if you can put your pieces, I'm gonna show you two different ways. You can put your pieces in your card and fold it up. Or you could just do this, fold it in half. This is gonna be easier, probably. Fold it in half. And then you'll want to fold it in half again, just like your card that we did. We folded it in half and we folded it in half again. Or if you want to score, 
you could score at five and a half and three and three quarters or two and three quarters and then that will give you the same folds as your card and that's what you need and so I'm going to try and fold them all first so that maybe they aren't going to crack and it could have cracked because I had a uh, all my glue on there still and it was wet, but I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm just gonna fold them. Fold it in half, fold it back again. And I know that there's probably a bajillion directions out there for this kind of card, but this is, this is how we're doing it. And I found that this is really super easy. So we're gonna fold it in half. Fold it in half again. Looks like I might not have cut my paper straight. Hold on, I'm gonna trim that up a little bit. Just saves me a little headache later. So now we're gonna glue them together. So we'll start with the white one. We'll glue the white onto the Moody Mauve. I'm gonna skip over that fold and just see if that also might help. Glue that on down here. Leave equal space on each side. And then bring it down here. Do the same thing. So then we're gonna make sure that our folds are in the kind of the right spot. So we got that one there, and we got that one there. Trim that up a little tiny bit. I got hanging over. And then now we'll glue this one onto the wider one. Like this, same thing. Make sure that we're kind of equal between the two sides the best that we can. You know, it depends how well you cut. All right, so now we got both pieces laid down onto each other. And then the key is you're going to flip it this way. I'm going to flip it around. So, oh, hold on. Doesn't want to stick there. So then your long piece will go across the front and this one actually goes back this way. And this one comes forward this way. Okay, so it's the opposite. So your long piece is going to go across the front, and then these two are going to buckle down and go on the inside, like so. And my folds are giving me a little bit of grief here, but We'll work with it. You see what I'm doing. You got it. So um, we'll go ahead and glue this down. Give me a second here while I finagle this. All right. So what I had to do is um, push this fold out a little more so that this one came to the end and then this one came to the end. And because this is just the second time I'm trying this, I highly suggest when you're folding them, fold them in the correct order as you're going along because I was folding them the same way I folded the card and then these have to fold the opposite way. 
So this is a little is folded to go that way, but it needs to go this way. So I got my paper needs to kind of indent instead of I need a valley instead of a mountain. So all right. So we got that there, and now we're going to glue this onto our card. So we're going to glue this whole piece here. And this piece here. And then you could just kind of put it where you want it, however high up you want it on your card. From the bottom and the top kind of thing probably a little bit lower I might have just put mine a little high I don't know that I can move it at this point yeah sure I can let's move it down a little bit okay we'll glue it down toward the bottom a little bit more again don't recommend you tearing it off leaves you more cleanup to do to clean that paper off and stuff but we're learning here as we go on this one okay my top part is okay it's down here that I got a little bit of mess up so it's all right I'm showing you how to do it don't do as I do kind of do as I say the second time not the first time all right so now we got this on there like that we could put an embellishment here if we wanted to um, take our goober getter what's happening though is I peeled off part of the pink card so I'm glad you guys don't mind me messing up I hope you don't mind me messing up we kind of all get to learn together on some of this but yes the goober getter is not going to be our friend in this case so I'm just going to leave it and I would start over, but as I told you, I used up all my cards, so I can't start over. It's kind of like my uh, box last month that I tried to make and only got had a couple chances at it. So now we're going to take our circle, whatever circle you have, and I'm going to use my Knight of Navy and... I did use, only, I don't have the stamp here, hold on. My stamp is from last month's kit, um, the pretty flower one from July. So I've got your Simply the Best from that kit. And I'm going to stamp that in my circle. I love it when I get to use the other kits. Then we're going to pop that up. Just going to pop it up. And I want to leave my dimensionals a little bit toward the um, center so that I can slide my circles under there. And I'll show you circles all right so then I just put that down a little way into the strip and I want to move that kind of over a little bit so that I got room to put a circle down below all right so we're gonna put that over a little bit to the left then we're going to take this little piece and a three quarter inch punch and we're just going to punch out some of these balloons and I'm trying to eyeball, I don't want the little thing the string ties on so I'm going to put my punch kind of right at the bottom so that the balloon is at the top of the bottom and I got a little bit of like a cat eye, it's kind of a cat eye look so I'm going to cut out um, I didn't use them all last time. Let's see if I can get this one. 
I can't get that one this time. Let's go with this one. So we've got three of those. And then I'm going to glue one flat and pop up a couple. So I'll copy my other card. We'll glue this one flat. Kind of tuck it under the the circle will pop up another one. On top of that, a little bit over here. You can turn them however you want to turn them. Whatever looks good to you. And then I got this guy that I'll put down at the bottom of my... circle and you might even put a little bit of glue on the top so that it glues to the circle but yet it's popped up over there and you might not be able to because this is probably taller than that so it is what it is there oh and then I have a little um bow made with the um string ribbon twine stuff that comes with the kit and I'm going to trim those little ends a little bit more off. And then I'm going to use a glue dot to hold it on. Oops, got to get the right side of the glue dot sheet. And I'm going to put that on the back. And peel that off. It comes right off. And then I'm just going to kind of like curl it up a little bit so that the sticky is not overhanging. And then I'm just gonna glue that onto the circle, like so. Then we're gonna move to the inside. I did not put anything here. You're more than welcome to decorate that piece if you want. I just did not. All right, then I've got that, um, let's see if I can get that in here. Then I've got that rectangle. We're going to glue that over here into the corner. Please stamp on it first because after you get it on, it's going to be fairly awkward to try and stamp it. All right, and then we've got our balloon and a one inch punch. So I'm just going to stick that in there. And it's not a like a full circle, so it will be a little bit lopsided, possibly. Depends how you're able to stamp it. So let's see, can I cover all these? Goobers, probably not, and have it look good. I better stick with the play in here. Then I'm going to come back with my three quarters inch punch, punch out some more balloons, and let's see if I want to be able to get this one. This one's going to be a little bit off kilter because my circle got really close to the edge. So maybe a little bit smaller circle or punch these out first so you see what you got to work with. Let's see if I can. No, I don't think this one's, well, let's see. If I punch this one, we can hide that little piece. Let's try that. So we can pop up this guy put it over here then this one we can pop up and 
and stick it under. Not the color, you know, contrast that I would have wanted here, but we get to use that circle. Then let's see, we can come in with, let's come in with this blue one now, or gray one. I'm just gonna put that over this way. I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is put another strip of paper right here so that I have not completely ruined and wasted this card. I'm gonna put something there because it's turning out nice, except for that little bad spot there where I moved it. So, you know, there's always a fix. We can always fix stuff. And then we're just gonna put a couple down here on the corner of the sentiment piece and I'm thinking then we'll pop this one up you don't want that same one we'll pop this one up and how about I pop it up down here and then that will cover that little bad mark see Just think it through as I go not panic not say, oh my gosh, I ruined it on my video and they're going to hate it. And then how about this one? Is that too many circles? If I just utilize all these and cover up my marks. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mess with that, but I'm going to glue them all kind of in there in a conglomerate so that I cover up my mistakes. So here we go. Here is this card. Again, a little bit jankety, but you get the idea. And I hope that you give it a try and see for yourself how fun it is. You may want to take this down to two layers as well. Three could be a little bit much, um, and that's why it's having a little more issue folding. But give it a shot. See what you get. And if you've used up your cards and stuff, just use a designer series paper for this one and some other random designer series paper for the circles. You could still use your candle and make this strip. So give it a shot. Love to see what you make.